minutes in, and the Pittsburgh Steelers have gone. There you go. Devin, Bush, Tom, you know that I love Bush. I have him number nine overall on my big board. I like the value. Aggressive to go up and get him. Very unlike the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is yep. not their normal MO in terms of trading up. But they love Devin Bush, and they needed a linebacker. I know they signed Mark Barron, Vince Williams, John Bostick, whatever. Those guys are stop gaps at best. To go up and get your premier guy, I'm on board with it. Now, we'll get those details here once we have them for you, and that'll help impact the grade as well. But I am a big fan of Devin Bush. There are some out there that think Devin Bush is the best linebacker in this year's draft class. I don't totally disagree. Okay. He and Devin White read it out almost identically to me. I am a big fan of Devin Bush. Now, he's quick and he's fast, just like Devin White. He fits the mold of today's speedy sideline-to-sideline -sideline linebacker. Brings some good pop on his hits. Arms weren't as short as I thought he was at there was they were going to be. That's a big deal there. Don't trust him on the read options either. But he had that turf stomach at, at MSU. I love that attitude from my middle linebacker. He's not going to be a thumper that sheds blocks and guards and whatnot. But he's going to be, I think, a tackling machine if, if he's able to play in space. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, he'll play it as, as like a 3-4 inside linebacker, as a weak side linebacker type there. I think he's going to have success. He can blitz and he can cover. That is what you're looking for in the NFL. So here are those trade details for you guys. Pittsburgh gets number 10 overall. Denver gets number 20. And they get number 52 overall and a 2020 third round pick. So, Mitch, what do you make of the trade here as I run it through our, our trade average thing here? I mean, so I'm looking at it right now. I mean, if the Steelers really wanted Devin Bush, here's another case where if you want the player, you got to go up and get him because, as you said, he wasn't getting past He was getting taken by the Cincinnati Bengals, who are now officially on the clock. So, everybody who's watching right now, who won the trade? Did the Pittsburgh Steelers? Did. It's about the right value here. Yeah. Um, it's, it's about right. Uh, maybe that third round pick was kind of the turning point there for Denver. Uh, I'm kind of surprised they passed on Devin Bush. I, knew, I, knew, I, know, I know that Vic Fangio loved him. So, so cross, cross off that pick, all the mock drafts. So Y'all had it wrong. It. What do you guys think? Grade the pick. A, B, C, D, or F. If you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, you wanted your guy, you went up and got him. I commend that. I give it a B. I, I mean, you know, it's it, it's tough with, with the trade that you gave up. You don't have a second round pick. Now you had other needs. But I had Devin Bush as a top 10 guy. You move up to get him. He was not going to make it any further. I, I promise you guys that. I, I think it's at least a B. All right. Uh, it's a lot to go. That 2023 could be a little iffy, but this is a fine selection here. 